Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the top 10 technologies which are dominating in the full stack development. Now, I have my points there and these are the points for the most popular uh, technologies for the full stack development. Now, of course, uh, this is not just any random survey, this is based on the stack overflow. Now, in case you don't know what the Stack Overflow is, I would ask what kind of programmer you are if you don't know what the Stack Overflow is. By the way, Stack Overflow is the most popular website where you can ask your questions and probably there are high chances that your questions has been already answered on the Stack Overflow. It's a website that runs totally on technical programming and uh, code related stuff. So I have picked up uh, data about what are the most popular technologies which are being used and the questions are being asked. Of course, if they are being used, there might be problems, a lot of problems with them, and these problems are asked at Stack Overflow. So these are gonna be top trending full stack development technologies that we are discussing, and these will shortly help you to pick up one of them so that you can jumpstart your job, career, whatever you like to call it. So let's get started in here. <laughs> In this channel, we talk about programming, technology, mobile development, web development, and everything related to computers, programming, and technology. So in case you are new here, consider subscribing. Also, you might have noticed that we got a new friend here, Mikey. Mikey is, has already been there for in all of my videos. We haven't seen that, but since uh, recently I got delivered my boom arm, now you'll be seeing Mikey quite a lot, and he's a good guy. I use him in all of my videos. So let me refer to my notes here and talk about the technologies and uh, we can discuss them a little bit in them. So at the bottom list, I'm, I'm gonna obviously start from bottom to the top. And uh, first of all, we have got the LAMP, which stands for the 15.6 in the popularity rating here. Now LAMP stands for the Linux Apache MySQL PHP. And with no surprise, obviously there are still a lot of applications or web apps which are being designed in the core PHP and obviously it makes a lot of sense for a website which is just five page website uh, clearly designed in some HTML CSS. It makes much more sense to just use a PHP in the contact form and deliver the things to the mail. So it's much more fast, convenient and uh, less time consuming. So obviously it stands at 15.6%. The lamp stands at the bottom here. Now on top of that, with no surprise, we have got Python standing at a rating of 18.2%. Again, these all stats are from the Stack Overflow. Now, Python is one of the most diversified language. It can be used for the web development, writing the scripts, uh, even making the good games, and a lot of things. And it's pretty much easy to get started with language and especially uh, the platforms that are the kind of a frameworks which has been introduced like Django, you can do quite a lot of stuff with the Python. So again, uh, for the hackers, it's one of the most favorite language. And I would say it's a great starting point if you are uh, kind of attractive with that language. On the next, with no surprise, we have got Node.js. Now, personally, uh, I have worked on quite a couple of projects, uh, heavy projects on the Node.js. I have thoroughly enjoyed Node.js and I became a big fan of it. Now in the previous days, I was working with uh, most of the time with the Firebase or kind of a database uh, uh, like MongoDB, but Node.js is just killing it. Uh, in case you are already familiar with JavaScript, I would personally highly recommend you to get started with the Node.js. The more you will learn it, the more simplicity you are gonna get it. It's, it's kind of a killer technology. And in fact, I'll make a separate video about Node.js and why I so much love about it. Next up, we have got SQL Server. Now, SQL Server holds, holds about 28% of the popularity there. Now, again, uh, a lot of technology are coming up new, but they are just new and are coming up. That doesn't mean that all the previously existing technologies are going anywhere. They are still gonna be there. So SQL-based websites are still there. SQL-based uh, web applications are still there. So definitely it's worth learning a skill. And in fact, uh, if you just want to directly jump onto the newer technology, that's great. But uh, understanding a little bit about these uh, all the time stable technologies is really good and I would highly recommend you to go with the SQLs. Now next up we have got, no surprise at all, Java. And uh, with the 30.7 rating. Now Java, again, uh, I'm not a big fan of Java because I mostly like to work in the iOS environment or other environments. But again, 
Uh, this doesn't mean that if I'm not a fan of a language, that doesn't mean that it's a bad language. Obviously, it's good. A lot of my friends use it. Uh, one of the, my friends, uh, John from caveofprogramming.com is also quite uh, killing it in the Java from the very early days. So definitely worth a good learning uh, this programming language. But honestly, I'm not a big fan of Java and uh, I, I don't even recommend it. But this doesn't mean it's a bad language. It's great language. It's not something that I get quite easily. So again, you eventually develop some love for language. Java is not one of them. Now, next up is, again, uh, one of the favorite language is Angular. Not a language, kind of a framework-ish thing. So Angular is killing it with 32.2% 32, 32 of the popularity meter there. Now, why Angular is getting popular? Now, Angular actually runs uh, mostly on the SPAs, the single page application. And one of the reasons why Angular is popular because of its component. Now, usually in the website, when we need a web page, it just reloads the web page when we want to change the content. The DOM model actually changes completely. But in the Angular, you don't change the entire DOM model, you just replace the thing that you uh, simply want to change. So you are not, anytime you are not uh, getting back anything from the DOM, you are just changing to the DOM, you are not getting anything back. And that makes your SPAs, the single page application quite fast. And that is why Angular is rising at quite a lot. Next up is the PHP with 35.3%. Now why PHP is growing so much and we have seen it, it at two places there. The only reason is WordPress. Now you might be surprised, a lot of people hate WordPress, but to be honest, a lot of freelancing projects actually are made on the WordPress. In fact, a lot of big and popular websites, even the news websites that you see around are being made in the WordPress. Now, WordPress is quite easy to manage. Yes, there are some security issues that you have to bother about, you have to look around, and somehow you have to be dependent on the updates that are being released to maintain the security of the WordPress. But if you compare that with the production cost, which is quite low in the WordPress, you will neglect that. I know a lot of people are gonna yell at me that, hey, how can you avoid security? How can you neglect the security? But sometime you have to calculate the production cost as well. Later on, you can work on the security, but if there is no product, what you are gonna secure? So obviously the first priority for every development company and every environment is the production and to make sure that the product reaches out to the people. And we all know never, it's never the first product or the version one is going to be perfect. It's never going to be. Uh, it's going to have a lot of design issues. It's going to have a lot of security issues, but really WordPress is killing it. And I believe that is one of the main reasons why it's rocking with the PHP. Now, next up to a little of my surprise is C Sharp with 37.3. Now, this caught me a, bit, a little bit of the surprise. To be honest, it completely caught me off guarded there. But I believe the C-Sharp is really getting popular. In fact, I have seen quite a lot of questions being posted uh, on the C-Sharp, on the Stack Overflow, and it's, it's rapidly growing there. And one of the main reason is the Unity environment. Now, Unity is heavily based on the C-Sharp, and a lot of people are learning the C-Sharp because uh, they want to make their own games in Unity. Uh, and previous year was completely dominated by the game development and Unity and everything. So I believe that is one of the reasons why C Sharp is getting so much popularity in there. Next up, uh, with uh, on to the last one, we haven't made it actually like top 10 or anything. The top technology with uh, killing it with 85.3, in fact, it's almost double the highest what we have discussed so far, is the JavaScript. Now in the full stack development, JavaScript has become a holy grail. You can, uh, kill it with uh, the front-end development, you are going to killing it uh, onto the back-end development in Node.js, front-end for Angular or React or React Native maybe. So I believe one language which has done uh, kind of a tremendous job, extraordinary job is JavaScript. Uh, the reason why I started to love JavaScript is because of the ECMAScript 6 and that's my personal words there. Now, previously I was having a few problems. In fact, I'll make a separate video what are the things that I love about ES6. Now, two things that I would like to talk in here is the two things that I hated about the JavaScript in previous version are the this keyword and their scope rules. Now they have completely solved them. And now in the ECMAScript 6, there are definite scopes which you can work with. 
like the scope of a function or scope of a class and also the this keyword it was completely a mess this keyword and in fact if you code in javascript you might already be faced these kinds of things so, so they have fixed that this keyword as well so this was my quick overview about uh, the top full stack technologies that were popular in the last year of course how we are going to get the survey of this year uh, the survey is actually for the last year because the data comes from one year previous i hope you get that what i'm trying to say in here so this was a quick movie of how we actually get about the surveys and everything so in case you have some doubts about what i talked in here and i hope this video helped you to pick up the technology that you want to really work as a full stack developer and uh, yes i haven't talked about the mobile development or anything in this but this was just a quick video about the surveys that the stack overflow has made up here so in case you like this video make sure that you hit that subscribe button that's important there the red button hit that it's subscribe and in case you think that this video can help some of the people that you know and can get benefit from this video make sure you share it on your facebook or twitter and i'll catch you up in the next video